Last night, we started our very first grind for a super rare croc ever. And I have actually never done a grind like this before. And last night, I had an absolute blast grinding crocs for the very first time. And we did come out with my very first croc rare. And yesterday, I actually got my very first diamond croc as well. We are going to have a look at both of those in today's video and exactly how to set up for a super rare croc grind. Now, grinding crocs doesn't have to be for a super rare. It is probably one of the very best ways to make cash in the game. Definitely very, very easy setup. So today we're going to go through what weapons you need to use, where you need to hunt, how to set up so that you can grind crocs for cash, for trophies, or just for fun. Let me know in the comments what your dream croc to spawn would be. And funny enough, the very first croc that I spotted today was a nine legendary after putting down 53 crocs last night. So first and foremost, let me tell you what I I am carrying for inventory when doing this grind. So I have with me two 300s. Crocs are class seven, so you definitely can use the 300 or the 338 when hunting them and get full integrity. Then I have the Crosspoint CB165 crossbow, and that is a defensive weapon for when I am getting attacked by Crocs. And I have the 600 grain broadhead tracer bolts in there. And for the 300, I am using the polymers. Now there are no collars for Crocs, and you don't actually have to use a tripod. I'm noticing that when you do blow their zones out, they do come back right away. I do have one here just because at one time I had like nine crocs here. Right now we only have four. Let's see if we could take a few down. Now when you are doing the croc grind, you want to try and get really good at a perfect neck or brain shot because they are just going to stop dead in their tracks. They won't go for a swim and you won't have to wait for floaters, which is going to slow you down significantly. Now these are not great angles, but I'm hoping they are going to turn for me. I'm actually not even going to bother with the tripod. Now, if you want crocs to go aggressive on you, just walk up to them very slowly. It's when you get really close to them that they go aggressive. Sometimes they will spook, but lots of times they will just go aggressive. Now, this guy is getting his pants in a sniddle. He's getting a bullet. Now he thinks he's going to exit stage left. You get a bullet too? That one's gone. No! Ah, oh, too late. That's okay. We're preserving the zone. That's right. <laughs> I did not get a good shot. When you get spine, when you're doing the grind, they will drop on the spot as well. You don't get integrity on that shot, which is totally okay because these crocs, it really doesn't matter what score you get on them unless they are rare or diamond. And eventually I am hoping that we get a super rare saltwater croc. It may take literally thousands of kills, but you're never going to get one if you don't try. And so we are definitely out here shooting as many crocs as we can and that is what i am hoping for but honestly through it all i'm just hoping to spawn some very cool rares i would love a really nice mela the rares for crocs include melanistic albino leucistic and piebald and I understand that there are more than one variation of piebald. I'm not sure how many, as I have not seen a piebald croc in the game yet, but I am looking forward to collecting all of the rares and getting some really sweet diamonds out of this grind. So when you are doing this grind, what I do is I am hunting the 12 to 1600 rest time. So I start right at the bottom. Let's go down there. So I'm going to change my time always in a tent because it is actually quite a bit cheaper, especially if you are at the maximum for time changes. Every time you change the time in the tent, it will save you close to $700 as opposed to changing the time in an outpost. I'm setting the time for around 1400, which is the second half of this rest time. And that is just so that they will have a much greater chance of being in their zones right now. So then we're gonna run over to our first rest zone which I have blown out, but they should come back. Now, if you do prefer a later rest time, that's totally okay. Pick whatever your favorite rest time is for Crocs because there are a variety to choose from. I think the only time they are not resting out here is from eight to 12. And I think that is their feed time. Okay, we have an aggressive croc. Now, if you do have your dog with you and you do have him programmed in this way, he will bark and warn you that you are about to get attacked, which is very handy to have when you are grinding for crocs. Now, I find when you walk close to them, this is when they're going to go aggressive. And it is smart to have a bow on you just because of the reduced hunting pressure. Ooh, beautiful. Absolutely dropped him. What did we get on him? We got a beautiful upper neck shot. Look at that. That is like a 
perfect shot. And we actually pulled a gold out of a level six. That's pretty sweet. So we are using the 600 green broadhead tracer bolts. And that was a 4.69 meter shot. And that guy is a dark brown. So when you're picking up your kills, definitely check the fur type out because I understand it is almost impossible to tell when they are melanistic. Most of the time people are noticing this when they pick up their kill. Now, when you're first starting out, run the entire beach and shoot the smaller crocs off. Shoot the level threes and the level fours. What's gonna happen is they are going to respawn into the mangroves and it's gonna get them off the beach. And hopefully you will then have larger crocs to shoot. Now, in doing this grind, I will not be shooting the fours. I will be shooting the fives and up. And there he is. That is in the hopes of spawning more diamonds and it will definitely increase the diamond spawn rate by not shooting the little guys. Now, if he comes up on the shore, we will take him right now. He could be a troll, but he is the first nine to spawn of the grind. And I am 53 kills in right now. So that's not terrible. And he's going to rest right there in the water. And that's actually bad. I don't like that. Oh, we have a seven here. Let's take this dude. So I'm going to aim for neck there. I did not get it. So then you're going to lead the shot and go for a lung shot. And it's okay to put more than two shots in if they are not a trophy while you're grinding because what you want them to do is die as fast as possible. When they float out there, it wastes a tremendous amount of time waiting for those floaters to come back in. So even a thoracic shot will drop them. You won't get integrity, but for purposes of grinding, unless it's a trophy, it's totally a great shot. Nothing wrong with that. Now, this is the one we're looking for. Now, you're almost all always good to run up to 200 meters of a croc and it shouldn't notice that you're there. And of course, when it dies in the water, it will float to where you were when you took the shot. It will not follow you around. And a full score gold, very sweet. And that was actually, the first shot was, oh, just a hair too high, just a hair. So we put a second shot in and we did get long and we saved that one. It just disappeared. Now he's alarmed. I think he's gonna disappear on us. He's in his alarm state, but he is under the water, so I don't think we're getting him right now. Well, we'll come back and get him after. He gone. The wind did not help us there. All right, we'll try that again. And I wanted to point out that when I'm actually setting up the grind, I did change a little bit in my loadout. So when I am just setting up, I only have one 300 on me and the crossbow, and I have added tents. So while you're setting up, that is a good loadout to have. And right now I have set up one, two, three, four, five, six six tenths, seven including the one at the bottom. We have seven tenths and I don't think I'm gonna need any more. Okay, there is our buddy going for a swim. I'm gonna wait. He should come in, but unfortunately his rest zone is in the water, which is gonna make this complicated and we are gonna have a bad wind every time. So I'm gonna try one more time to get him to go aggressive and then I'm just gonna shoot him. That's the plan. So basically for setting up, what I did was I ran the coast. I set the time for about one o'clock in the afternoon. So 1300. And then I just ran and dropped tents 200 to 250 meters from any zones that have multiple males. If you do set up on a zone that only has one and you shoot that croc, that zone will vanish, but it really should come back. But you wanna set up on zones that have as many crocs as possible. And then I'm just gonna move from tent to tent and kill as many as I possibly can. Oh, and we have an aggressive croc. All right. So when they're coming after me, I, <laughs> they, okay, never mind. He's chickening out. Dude, what are you such a chicken for? It's okay, I didn't want to shoot a four anyway. But even if you're setting up a grind here just for cash, crocs are absolutely incredible for cash. Even when you take too many shots, you're still going to be getting a really good payday, at least $1,000 each, and even 1000 from the females. If you take a vital shot, you will get paid even more, and the higher the level of the male, the higher the prices that you will get paid. And again, we have the world's worst wind, and there's his girlfriend. Just don't block him in. Oh, you rock. Not loving this angle. He's curling his tail around his vitals. See, that's why he grows to be so big. Now, because crocs and alligators don't sink anymore, that is one change with the last update that the community absolutely loves. Because of that, you can just take a long shot. You will have to wait for them to float, but you don't have to worry about losing your trophy anymore. He still doesn't know I'm here. Okay, I think I'm gonna take it. Should have been a good shot. 
It was a good shot. We got him. He will float to us. How you doing, my buddy? And we have our very first diamond of the croc grind. And that was a beautiful left lung shot from 124 meters. And that is very sweet. We did get a vital on this one with the second shot. Let's keep going. Here comes an aggressive. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I'm gonna zero down. Oh my gosh. Don't be biting me. Got her. I got her. The nice thing about carrying a bow as a defensive weapon is it isn't going to blow out your zones. You do get reduced hunting pressure with any bow. And that was a beauty shot with the bow. Double lung. And that was only a 7.55 meter shot with the crossbow. So any bow will do as a defensive weapon and it'll help to not blow your zones out. Okay, so let's try for a next shot here. So I have the Argus on. I'm going to stand straight up just because of that little lip of land. And I'm going to aim right about there. And we got him. We got him. That was beautiful. So that is what you want to practice so that you don't have to wait for a pile of floaters. If you are just grinding for cash, that will help you to make cash a lot faster and just simply speed up your grind. There's our vital blood splatter. And there is the shot. So you can hit anywhere from here all the way across here. You can hit the bone down here, up above. That will all register as a neck shot. And that is the shot that you are looking for. And we got a full score there. We got a gold and dropped him. So that was sweet. We're gonna try it again. I might not be as lucky the second time, but let's try it one more time. So I'm trying to get up as close to 150 meters just for perfect zeroing. But if I can't, then I want to aim just a tiny bit higher if there is going to be a drop from zeroing. So this guy's about 170. Beautiful, we did it again. Okay, I'm getting better at this. Now when I am shooting more than one croc, I will put the Hyperion back on because I'm just not very good at getting more than one animal with the Argus on. I just find I'm too zoomed in and it blocks too much of my field of view that I'm just not good at taking multiples. Now what you could do is carry two 300s, have one with the Argus and one with the Hyperion and you can just grab what you need really quick. So let's have a peek here and beautiful. That's exactly what we're looking for. And another gold with a drop shot. So when you do see a whole bunch of them in the water, just be patient and give them a minute or two. They will come up onto the shore and it's much better to shoot them on the shore than it is in the water. Let's have a look at that sweet rare we got on stream yesterday. Oh, is that, is that a rare? That's a rare! I think that's a leucistic! Oh my gosh! That thing is insane! Oh my god, he's alarmed. No, he dipped down! Are you kidding? No! I think I got it. I got, oh, I think I might have got spine! I got spine, I'm zeroed wrong. I got spine for sure. Oh, I'm gonna cry. I think I just muffed it. I didn't want him to get away. I think I just got spine. I hope the first shot was vital. I'm, I'm scared to look. <laughs> well, it's still gonna be beautiful. I don't think I got him. Ah! Well, oh, it's albino. <laughs> well, we'll find more. I'm taxing that $10,000, holy. Well, that is very unfortunate. Oh, if I had been just right here, it would have been a perfect shot. Ah, oh, that is such a bummer. Well, still very cool. <laughs> That's a nice big one too, holy. So let me show you how I have set up here. I'm starting my grind right at the bottom here. I have a tent right there and I'm running out here and shooting crocs at the first zone here. Then there is usually a zone right here. I may have blown it out, but it will come back. And a lot of the times I am tag teaming zones. So what that means is I am running, shooting crocs here. I go and pick them up and then I can shoot crocs in the next zone. I don't need another tent for that. So I am doing that at a lot of zones. Then I can just fast travel to the next tent that I have set up on a nice big herd of crocs. Are they herds? Probably not. <laughs> a group of crocs. And so you just want to go from tent to tent, shoot as many as you possibly can, move to the next tent, and keep going all the way up the coast, 
right till you get to here. At which point you set the time back, I would set it to about one o'clock, leave the game and come back. That will initiate instant respawns and start again at the bottom and do the run again. Rinse and repeat, killing as many large crocs as you can. I'm gonna be shooting level fives and up and start to watch those trophies spawn and your bank account increase quickly. It's not a difficult grind to set up for, very, very easy, and it will make you an insane amount of money, that is for sure, and hopefully... And another drop shot, I'm getting better at it. And hopefully, eventually, we will see a super rare croc. That is what I am going for. We will be doing the croc grind live on YouTube. Definitely come and check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will definitely see you guys in the next one. And there it is, beautiful. Not finding enough diamonds? Click right here to learn how to put more diamonds in your lodge.